Hello. Hi. My name is Daisy. What's your name? I'm, I'm glad you found me. How, how did you find me? Oh, she's lovely. What, what did she tell you about, about me? Hmm. Well, yes, I can do that. I like to, I like to do that for people. So, you have some ties you'd like to get rid of, and some ties you'd like to bring back. Yes, I, I can do those kinds of healings. And I can give you some protection. Yeah. Are there some bad people? Not bad people. They're not. None of them are bad people. They're just people that are bad for you. You'd like some protection too? I can do protection. So, karma. Do you mind? I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little touchy feely. Um, yes. Your kind is very interesting to me. Oh, just different, different from me. Yes. Um, we can do a healing. And are you okay with a little magic? Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. We'll do a little magic too. But we gotta stay quiet, okay? Alright. So, um, can I read you first? Read your aura. Okay. Okay. Don't get weirded out if I get kind of close and if I'm staring at you a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're so pretty. Your aura is pretty too. But you're pretty. Yes, you are. See where this is hurt over here. People can be nasty, mean. Those humans. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me look at all the rest of you. Hm. It's all pretty. Yeah. There's some. There's some hurt parts. That's okay. We have band-aids. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We have a little bit of work to do. Yes. Okay, let's start with the karma. Mm. So let me see what I can see. Can I take your hand? Do you believe in past lives, dear? Okay, well, whether you believe in them or not, you have some. <laughs> yes, and, um, 
some of them weren't very nice. No, no, it's okay. Um, so sometimes when we have some in the past that weren't that nice, that's why this life gets to be a little easier. Or we have some things we have to work through in this life to make up for the past ones. Yeah, so, um, you made some vows. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I think you may have made a vow of poverty. Mm. It doesn't mean that you can't make money in this life. And we will help you with that, so it won't be an issue anyway. But it means that money's a bit of a problem. Is that right? Okay. So, we are going to break that vow, if that's okay. Are you able to do that? Do you feel good? All right. So I see a couple of the things. You signed on for some unpleasant things this life, didn't you? It's okay. Again, it'll make the next one much easier if you work through those things now. Why would you sign on for all of that, though? It's okay. You people confuse me sometimes, but... Uh, okay. Alright. Well, let's start with just a general cleansing, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. We're just going to just clear the air. Yes. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Yes, the black candle pulls away that negative energy that may be around you. So we'll start with that. Okay, beautiful. <sighs> All right, let me find some of those hurt places. Do a little bit. There we go. Okay. A little bit here. Very good. And they kind of turn into a ball and then they sort of float away. They're not bad. They're never bad. There's things to learn from. And the only ones that will let go are the ones you've learned enough from for now anyway. So Mm. Looking better? Okay. There we go. Okay. And, uh, and let's just heal some of these. My hands can work like a band-aid. It's okay. <laughs> And now we have to let some of this stress go. Why did you accept this much, much stress in your life when you signed on? You don't remember. Hmm. Can I take a look in your brain just, just for a second? Yeah? I won't hurt you. Uh, and I won't change anything unless you want me to. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just going to look through your hair here. Yeah? And just take... Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Let me, let me move this a little bit. Okay. Huh. That really has been blocked. Oh, you don't remember at all, do you? Do you want to remember some of what you signed on for? Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to give you too much or it might be a bit overwhelming. Okay, alright, so let me just activate that. 
Okay, okay, is that alright? Yeah. Okay, not too much. I mean, I'm not going to give you full visions of before you were born. That's a little too much for most people, but do you remember some of those decisions? So now that you remember them, do you know why you took on that much stress? Huh, okay. So that last life was pretty good, right? Hmm, okay. Well, sure, getting to Nirvana this life or next life would be awfully nice. Huh. Well, you signed on for a lot, so I suppose it could be this life. Maybe next life, if not. But how are you going to get through all of this stress? Okay. Well, I'll be here to help you. Hmm? Just call me. You know how to get through. Or you can always come here. Mm -hmm. This is sort of a middle place. And I can always come here, and some other people can come here too. Other friends. Helpers. Do you get helpers on your side too? Oh, good, good. We all need helpers. Okay. Alright, so... Now that you know... Let's take care of that vow of poverty, okay? Alright, so I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just relax. Okay. So you signed on in a past life for a vow of poverty. But you don't need it this life. Okay? So I am just going to erase your signature. It's okay. You're allowed. It was not for this life anyway. It's for the last life. I don't know why you carried it over. What were you thinking? <sighs> I know. I know sometimes you guys say you don't remember and that you didn't have a choice. And okay, okay, okay. okay. I don't know why they make you work that way. But okay. I've heard it enough that I believe you. Okay, so it's a bit stubborn, so it's taking a little bit for me to erase it, but, okay, that's the last of it. Good. So, I want you to keep your eyes closed, and I want you to say, I release my vow of poverty. I don't want the universe to think I decided to do it. They need to know you decided to do it. Or else your signature will just come right back. Good. Doesn't that feel looser? Yeah. Give me your shoulders. Oh, yeah. A lot of that stress is gone now. Good. Why do you decide to carry all this stress in your shoulders? Hmm. That's silly. Hmm. Oh, much, much better. You know, if you want, if you come in, I'll take a, take a look at your brain again some other time, but I can't do too much at once, or you guys tend to, like, go crazy. Yeah. We don't want crazy. Crazy's not the goal. So, uh, yeah. So we have to do it little by little. It'll only give you what you need. Sometimes I think you guys need more, but we'll limit that. So, okay. All right. Let's do a healing of your energies while we're at it. Yeah, everything's already feeling so much better. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah, we released a lot of those karma issues. Mm. And saved some of those memories up there that you need. Good. So now, let's raise that energy to release some of those bad things. People can be mean, huh? Are they sometimes mean to you? Mm, I'm sorry. Okay. So what I want you to do is remember that you are perfect just the way you are. That doesn't mean we don't try to get better. Sure, why not? We're all working towards nirvana. If we don't try to get better and try to understand ourselves and others, we won't get there. No. Let me clear some of this away. Yeah, as I as I'm talking, you're having some energies come out. That's the way it tends to work. So let's start down with your root chakra. Yes. So that is the chakra where you can know you're perfect just the way you are. Yeah. Just, just the way you are. No need to change anything. Right now, you are perfect. Now, does that mean that you may not have done some mean things in the past? Sure, but you're not doing them right now. Does that mean you might not do some bad things in the future? Sure, but you're not doing them right now. And you have choices you can make. You have amends you can make. And you can try not to make the decisions that will harm your karma in the future. Remember, payback is a bitch. And it always comes back. It will come back to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say. That's why it's important to be good. Not a martyr. No, no, no. You need to set boundaries. Oh, we need to do some protection too. Hmm. Okay, we will do that in a moment. So... We've cleared away a lot of those issues from your root chakra. Let's move up to your sacral chakra. Okay. So, this is also what you decide to do, what you decide to nurture, what you decide to cultivate. So, keep your karma in mind. If you do good to others, it will come back to you. And that means good to you, too. You're not good to anyone else if you don't take care of yourself. Yes. So, good. as I talk, that dark energy comes out. Let me just clear that away a little bit. So some of this must be resonating with you. Yes. Good. All right. So, let's move up to your solar plexus chakra. Very nice. So this is what you have control over and what you don't. And it mostly means you have control over you. Yes, so you have control over your thoughts. When someone is cruel, do you take care of yourself? Do you support yourself? Do you worry about how sad their lives must be that they have to be cruel to you in that way and move on? I know it's easier said than done. That's why it's important to question what you have control over and what you don't. You don't have control over them. Except we'll give you a little protection. All right, let's move up to your heart. Beautiful. So what do you love? 
What are you passionate about? What is important to you? Who is important to you? Who do you care for? We are all connected. So the more we take care of others, it will come back, but you cannot leave yourself out of that equation. What are you going to do to take care of yourself today? Will you take a nap? Will you take a bath? Will you play with your pets? Will you hug a loved one? Will you play a game? Will you meditate? Will you just take three deep breaths? so good. You can do that anytime. Listen to some music. Cook something delicious. Listen to something relaxing. Talk to a friend. Text to a friend. Talk to a loved one or a family member. Mm. Every day. You have to every day. Exercise. Go for a walk. It can seem like a lot of work. But how else do we refuel? We don't drive our car every day and never fill it with gas and expect it to keep going. Why do we do that to ourselves? Well, we don't, but you people do. Yes. <laughs> But I love you anyway. I do. You are amazing creatures. Okay. I do yammer on, don't I? Your heart is good. Okay, let's go to your throat. Oh, this is a tough one for you people. So this is speaking your truth. Setting your boundaries. Why do you let people walk all over you and then get so angry that they did. How are they supposed to know if you don't tell them? And why are you expected to take care of everything? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't get it, but I guess it's hard for you. Appropriate boundaries. Tell people. Don't expect mind reading. Because you won't get it. They'll always be disappointed. Now, sometimes you do have to bite your tongue. Because you're going to say something in a nasty way. You don't want that either. But that's usually when you've let your boundaries be stepped on and you're mad. There are times we make trade-offs, but for the most part, we expect others to know where our boundaries are, and then we are always disappointed. Okay. Very good. Looking much better. It was beautiful to begin with, but still, now it's so much brighter. Ooh. Okay. Third eye. So... What do you intuitively know? You should know you are beautiful. You should know you are whole. You should know you are just enough right now. Mm -hmm. You are. It doesn't mean you give up. It doesn't mean you don't try to improve. But right in this second, you are perfect. You are perfectly where you are supposed to be in this second. And you are beautiful and good. Your actions may not always be, but you are beautiful and good. And you should know that. You do know that somewhere in there. But you guys forget that too. So many things in here you forget. Okay. 
no crown chakra. So, what do the energies around you keep trying to tell you that you will not listen to? It's almost so in, and if you listen at all, the spirits will talk to you then, and the energies will tell you what you need to know. You have to listen. We all dress up and party, and that's fun, but we miss the whole point. So, if you are not hung over the next morning, you can still hear it. The energies don't go away at midnight. Listen. Listen in the morning of Halloween. Listen to what those energies are telling you. Listen when the veil is thin. Listen on the full moon. Listen on the new moon. Listen on your birthday. Listen on all the high holidays. Beautiful, okay? So now we need to do some protection before we close. So just close your eyes. you to bathe in this. It's a little glittery. You'll end up a little glittery. That's okay. I want you to make sure to rub some into your scalp because of that little mm, brain search, let's say, that I did. Okay. I want that all to stay closed. None of your brain leaking out. None of that. Okay. So just pour all of this into your bath. Take a nice, long, hot soak. Get a little into your brain. It will help set that protection and will uh, help uh, the healing to really set. Okay? I'm so glad you found me. Come back anytime, okay? I'm always here or I will be shortly or somebody will tell me you're here or or somebody else will come who you need. Okay? Get a good night's rest tonight, okay? I know I love you. And take good care.